exam details. The exam are on the theory, knowledge of safety and security of construction sites, on planning uh, construction tasks. You have two uh, hour exams that are online uh, and they will test your knowledge in those areas. Three distinct units uh, and we explain those we explain those in the slides as we've moved through. GCC equivalent grades level two uh, is in effect in effect in construction equal to a grade four or seven depends or between four and seven a pass merit and distinction a pass is a four a distinction is a seven merit depending on where that merit sits will be a five or a six. There is also level one work that is carried out, but to be honest, we only use, we only have our students working at level two historically, but just in case, that would be equivalent to a grade two or three at GCSE. Uh, again, past merit or distinction would decide that. Not only are you going to leave with the equivalent of a GCSE grade, you're going to leave with the same qualification that an adult would in the same industry. You'll be attending at the Duke Reese College uh, one morning a week. Now, be a full morning, you will be expected to pick up BTEC PE or cash child development for two periods per week, and that's in options band B and D. Now, you need to consider that because you need to think not only can I commit to a full morning a week uh, at the Duke Reese College, but I can also commit to two years of working through my BTEC PE and my cash or my cash child development, obviously both uh, uh, GCSEs uh, to add to your what will be the best timetable in the year group. Your unit, safety and security and construction, practical construction skills and planning construction projects. You have to complete all three units. Unit one is safety and security in construction. Uh, the, in essence, this is really health and safety. Uh, you gain the knowledge and understanding to enable to you, uh, ensure that you're able to minimize risk to yourself and to others. Two one hour exams, and those are both online, they're not written. Those are both online and they are multi-choice. So they are exams that our students traditionally fare reasonably well in. Practical construction skills, aim and purpose. Throughout the this unit, learners will be able to interpret technical information to plan refurbishment of a building, taking account of health and safety issues. Now, this is where uh, the three elements of the practical come in. Uh, we will be doing brick laying, as one unit within this, painting and decorating and tiling. All three skills are mandatory uh, and they are, assessed, uh, and they are assessed through accuracy uh, and quality of work. Planning construction projects. This is where you as a student uh, will show that you've got the practical skills and the health and safety understanding and be able to put that both of those combined into uh, a straightforward built environment development project. Now students are judged on the quality and accuracy of that work. Uh, at the Duke Reese, they have an outdoor uh, plant where you're able to uh, take on and actually produce a scaled down model of whatever your plan construction project might be. Now, if I haven't answered all your questions, please type them in now and I'll answer them through the day. Uh, I'll either answer them through tomorrow now or feel free to e email me on the attached email address. So if nobody has any questions at that point, we will uh, stop and we will move over to the hair and beauty.
presentation. Is that showing now, Lauren? Can you see that part of the presentation? You should be able to see it on the screen now. Thank you, Mr. West. If it, I'm going to start the presentation in a, in a moment, Lauren. If it doesn't, thanks, Paige. If it doesn't, I will send you the presentation if need be. But it's also going to be stored online for you as well to see it, Lauren. OK, it's probably a good idea yeah, to leave and, and, and come back in. I'll give you one more minute, Lauren, and then uh, I'll start. Thanks, Paige. Fantastic. Okay, the uh, level two certificate hairdressing uh, and beauty therapy course that we run at Redford Oak. What's that going to entail for you? Uh, the course assessment, percentage of course assessed for examination, 50%. There are two exams that are both online exams that you will have to sit. I'll show you a little bit more about that as we go through the slides. Um, and 50% of coursework is uh, assessed. What you must get into your head, firstly, and really important about the hair and beauty, is this not is not about uh, going to college and uh, cutting and modelling people's hair, putting on makeup, etc. There is an awful lot of written work in the hair and beauty uh, qualification and I'm sure you may have spoken to others who are on it currently and if not please take that opportunity and they will give you that information. Uh, exam details, two, two, uh, theory knowledge, uh, two exams on theory knowledge of hairdressing and beauty therapy, one on hairdressing, one on the beauty therapy. Three distinct units uh, explained in the following slides. All the units are uh, or two of the units are mandatory. How does it work grade-wise? GGC equivalent grades level two, uh, which is the level we would expect you to be working at, uh, equal a grade GCC between a four and a seven. If you get a pass, it would be a four. If you get a distinction, it would be a seven. A merit will be a five or a six, depending on where your uh, mark lies. On occasions, we do work at level one to get making sure that everybody's got an opportunity to access our qualifications. That would equal a grade two or a three in uh, this course. Again, pass merit or distinction will decide uh, exactly where you sit uh, from the grade two to three. Uh, you'll be attending post 16 one morning a week. Now, one morning a week, which is four periods, obviously, will mean that you'd have to pick up two periods a week either doing a BTEC PE or a cash qualification GCSE. 
they sit in bands, option band B and D. You need to consider, not only can you commit four periods a week hair and beauty, can you commit to two periods a week through year 10 and 11, completing your VTEC PE and your cash? Really important element that, that you ensure that you do that. So who is the qualification for? Um, it's a technical award, but it has been designed specifically for students for, at the ages 4 to 16 and is preparing you for your next phase of uh, qualifications, whether you go into the workplace or whether you continue at college. It's developing that comprehensive understanding of the hair and beauty sector. Remember what I said, it's not about cutting hair, it's not about continually working with people's hair and working with makeup. It is about understanding the sector, developing knowledge that spans the whole of the sector. You're not just talking about the local salon, you're talking about perhaps working on cruise ships, you're perhaps talking about working abroad, you are perhaps to, uh, talking about running your own salon in 10 years time, employing two or three other people and understanding what a manager of a salon has to undertake. Um, and giving you those academic, the academic skills, but also the transferable skills uh, within the hair and beauty sector, which are, 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 are very broad and we'll come across to uh, those in a later slide. It's extremely popular vocation for, for young people you commit to the course you've really got to go for the course and give it your best shot because there are uh, a lot of young people who are searching qualifications at this point the advantage of, the, of doing it between 14 and 16 is it sets you up really well for a place either in a salon or whatever uh, or getting a place straight into college not necessarily in the hair, hair and beauty sector so what are the units? Unit one, which is mandatory, understanding the hair and beauty sector. It's really understanding the, the structure and importance of, of hair and beauty sector worldwide, and particularly also from a local context. So in Redford, how does that look? Look at all the local salons, some of the bigger salons in Worksop, and how that all fits into the North Knotts College or other colleges and then how that moves you uh, further on in life about where you might want to go with the skills that you'll pick up. Uh, Hair and Beauty Research Project, again mandatory. Um, you have to produce a research proposal, so it's your concept, and then you conduct the research into that area of the beauty sector. Uh, usually a, quite a, a popular uh, unit because it does give you quite uh, free reign to really delve into and look at an area of this sector that you're really interested in. Little picture in the bottom there is uh, you will take part in things like fashion events where you provide the um, makeup, the hair and we've also used the students in this uh, this group for supporting functions in art from our theatre groups etc in school. Three, hair and beauty science, uh, optional Unit learners develop and understand of chemistry of hair and beauty products. I'm sure you girls will understand that mostly a lot of the um, items that are used on people's hair and your skin can be quite dangerous if they aren't handled correctly and appropriately and instructions aren't followed. It's understanding what you're working with. And then an optional unit again responding to hair and beauty uh, design brief. Again, it's a little bit like the earlier one where you're, uh, you're giving a brief about the sector uh, and you start researching that area um, and presenting ideas, but justifying choices about decisions you make. Some of the skills that you will pick up, which are absolutely essential in this area, but will help you back on the academic route in school, critical thinking, reflective self-performance, and work produced is going to help. Uh, initiative planning and research skills, clearly something you need in all subjects. Innovation and creativity, which is something that 
many people in this sector are very good at. Uh, and it's can you take that back into school and utilise some of those skills you may have, but it will be start to recognise them. Application of knowledge and understanding of life examples and businesses, uh, again giving you a little bit of business know-how at a, quite a young age, problem solving and communication skills. Check out the Facebook and Twitter pages, lots of information on there about both about the course, there's also test papers so you can see what sort of exams you'd be doing and some of you may now well be, be able to answer some of the questions already. If I haven't answered all the questions, by all means type away. Um, if you want to email me, uh, again no problems with answering any questions. The presentation and the, 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 the video of what, uh, what I've been saying will be going online. Uh, Mr. Ollie will be doing that 